Good morning. It is at or about 6.05 a.m. and time for a fresh hot breakfast biscuit. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Monday, October the 31st, 2022. And I heard a rumor that there was going to be some kind of baseball game tonight. You might be interested in that. So this morning's Breakfast Biscuit is entitled, What Should I Do First? What Should I Do First from Proverbs 28, 13? Well, the old saying is, what do you do to get out of a hole? For the first thing, you quit digging, right? The first thing to do with a wound is to get it clean, right? I've had some nasty wounds requiring lots of stitches and drain tubes and stuff like that. One in the foot, one in the head, surprise, surprise, and one in the back of the leg. And the first thing they did at the ER was not to sew up the wound. The first thing they did was get the mud out of the wound or the swamp water out of the wound or the dirt and the tree bark out of the wound and then clean it uh, with some high-powered solution of antiseptic or cleanser and then they could sew it up and the healing could begin in proverbs 28 13 <clears throat> the scripture says he who conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion one more time it's most important thing i'll say today which is scripture, he who conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion. If they had sewed those wounds up with the dirt inside, I'd be deceased by now. So that's the same principle that's being put here for us this morning to find compassion, reconciliation with God, his mercy, his grace upon us, and to restore us after our sin. The first thing we do is cleanse the wound. Don't try to cover the sin. <clears throat> Don't try to rationalize, to justify, or to explain. It only leads to the withering of the Holy Spirit and the resistance of the Almighty. But if you want to get things straightened out with the Lord, confess, agree with Him about the sin itself, what it is, and of your guilt, and then forsake it. Walk away from it. Be done with it. Hold the sin wound open. Hold it open and clean it out with the help of the Holy Spirit. And then ask him, <clears throat> as King David did, for a broken and contrite heart. Change your attitude about the sin that wounded you and would have killed you. Turn away from it. All of it. All the time. Regardless of what anybody else is doing. That's the first thing you do. And you know what? When God sees you confessing, hears you confessing and renouncing your sin, the compassion will come. It sounds like it's almost directly related to blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for telling us the truth. And God, we ask in Jesus' name that you would show us any unclean thing in us, <clears throat> that we might confess it, that we might renounce it, that we might turn away from it that we might abandon it and learn to hate that which is evil and to cling to that which is good. God, we ask you today to uh, take away the infection, to take away the uh, sepsis in us because of our sin. God, we pray that you cleanse us, make us white as snow. And God, we ask that you restore us to full unhindered fellowship and communion with you and with other believers. And God, we pray that the mercy of the living God would be upon us today. Lord, we love you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> so, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.